Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it would be a great idea if we did a full face of so and so. Today is Farmasi. I think that's how you say it, I'm not quite sure. I want to keep doing series like this, a full face of whatever, full face of NARS, full face of ELF, things like that. A lovely promoter of Farmasi actually did reach out to me and provide me with these products and I'll be leaving her a link and showing you guys your her card as we go. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have the box right here. She sent me over a bunch of different things, a little like Farmasi magazine. For those of you who don't know, Farmasi is a beauty company. Um, I don't know much about them, but there are some kind of conflicts about them. But I really have never tried any of their stuff, like not even one thing of their stuff. So I was really intrigued when she reached out to me. This is her card. Her name is Tony. This is the back of it. I will leave all of what it says on down below. But I believe that if you buy products through her link specifically and, and on her website, it like that's her job. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna you. I'm gonna put this link down below for all of these products instead of like their actual website, so that you can uh, help a girl out and because she was so sweet about it. Okay, I'm so sorry for like the background noise. My puppies are on the floor and they are just playing with that box I just had. <laughs> so the first product I have here is the Formosi Makeup VFS VFX Pro Camera Ready Perfecting Makeup Primer. It comes in a little box like this. But I, I feel like I was expecting like a pump, but not nothing like a squeezy tube. So we're gonna see how this goes. Silicone blurring kind of primer, I would say. It's definitely a blurring. It feels like silicone on my fingers. It feels really interesting, actually. It's just like I'm putting grease on my face. That's with all silicone primers and uh, blurring primers. They also sent me over their Color Control CC Cream. Um, they have some other foundations here. Then I also have the Formosa Makeup Stay Matte. Mineral and Rich Pore Minimizer. Then there's also this one that's uh, in these packets, and it says the Formosi Makeup FF VFX Camera Ready Retouch Skin Visual Effect Foundation. Full coverage. Okay, so I'm definitely going to be using this one because this is like match the primer. Oh, these might be makeup shades. I have 0, 0, 0, 001 and 02 and 03. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply that onto my beauty blender, just like this. I'm not beauty blender, you know makeup sponge. I keep saying that, it's just a habit. And it's supposed to be full coverage, but we're gonna test it to the test. We're gonna test it to the test. So this is what it looks like. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells really good. <laughs> I'm gonna blend her out now. Before it dries down. I mean, I don't know how fast it dries also. Okay. You know what though? I am not seeing full coverage right off the bat. That's the thing. I'm seeing more of medium. Even. Let's see. I mean, I like medium coverage, so that's not a big deal. Just because. But it says full coverage, and I want to see if it actually, you know, meets to that preference. So let's see. Okay, so, so far, I do see dark spots through, so I would not have to say this is full coverage. I would do have to say that this is probably medium coverage. I am going to put a little bit more to see if it's buildable. So I'm just going to put it on my beauty. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean. So right off the bat, right off the bat, I can tell you that it does build, build to full coverage. Now I'm really seeing the full coverage. And I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Look at how I put a little bit too much, actually. But I'm liking it. Can you guys see what my skin looks like? You know, I'm, I really like it, honestly. I actually do really like it. I'm going to be using the 00 shade, which is a shade lighter than the one I just used. I used 01 for foundation. Now I'm going to be using... Zero, 00 for concealer since there is not here one to try. Okay, so same as for before, I'm just going to put it on the makeup sponge and just tap a little bit under the eye. As you can see, it's only a, like a shade lighter. Actually, it looks a lot lighter. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm just going to put it, where is it on high points of the face. 
And let's see how it works as a concealer. Because I'm really just trying to brighten up, you know? Not a big deal. Oh, wow. Look at that. It did a very good job. I'm impressed. But there is one thing I do see, and it is a contour stick. Looks like so by Formosi. If I open it, looks like this, which is like my perfect shade for a contour. So I'm liking this. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna put on my cheek. We're gonna see how it blends out. This is more of a cool, cool bronze. I mean, a uh, contour, I would say. A little bit here, a little bit there, here. Now I'm going to take this part and I'm just going to blend upwards. You always want to push it up. Okay. So as you can see, it's having a little trouble. Okay, so this is it all blended out. Took a little time, but like a lot of them do. Like a lot of them are thick formulas because it was a stick, a contour stick. Which do take a little bit more time because they're condensed in the sticks instead of it's being liquid. But I'm really not mad about it. I think it really did blend out fine. And I like it. I like it. I would use it again. So unfortunately they did not have a powder. Powder. I'm not even sure if they carry a powder. I'm just going to be using my normal powder which is the Laura Mercier powder. And I'm just going to apply this like I normally would. And let's see if it gets cakey or not. I'm going to go right under the eye with powder. Pressing it into my skin. I've actually not been baking as much as I normally would. I really want to see if it makes a difference in my makeup if I just don't bake. Because I've been getting, I'm dry, you know? And I've always baked because that's just the way I was taught. And I've been wondering, like, what if I didn't, you know? So that's what I've been doing. I have a face palette here by Famosi, a 3-in-1. I have not opened any of these yet. That's why um, I'm unsure what, they ha what I have here and what I don't have. So, the quality on this is kind of good. It kind of feels like a Morphe palette. That's what it kind of feels like. Okay, cool. So, I have a... Oh, that just fell up. I have a blush and bronzer and highlight palette, which is perfect for these steps. So, I'm going to be taking a bronzer brush, like so. Dipping into the bronzer right here. And going about my face. Very, very subtle at first. On camera, it looks a little harsher, but very, very subtle at first, which is good because you like you want to build it up and you don't want it to be too heavy at first. So I'm just buffing in the next part. I mean, the next cheek. <laughs> yeah, I like my uh, bronze is really pigmented. That's why I'm dipping back. But honestly, this is fine for every day. But I'm kind of bougie and extra, so I like a lot of bronzer. <laughs> okay, so I have my blush brush here and I'm just going to dip into it. it. Seems to be very, very pigmented right off the, the get-go. I'm just going to put it there. Oh, wow. Honestly, that's very, very, very pigmented and the color is like a rose, like a rose mauve and wow, I like it. That looks like well, it'll fit any skin type too. Just for it's uh, coming off subtle, just like the bronzer was, and now I'm just going to build it up, and I'm liking this. So now I am going to be using the highlight in the palette. The palette, along with the blush and the um, bronzer, is a very good palette. Like I wonder how much this retails for, because I would have picked this up in a heartbeat. I love face palettes like this that come in all this because it's perfect for on the go. Now I have my highlighting brush. I'm going to dip in. There is some fallout from this specific shade. Oh my goodness, you guys. Holy crap, I was, I swear to you, I was not expecting that. Are you kidding me? From a brand I've literally never heard of, but from, from Tony, I forgot her last name, from contacting me, I've never heard of this brand before and I'm missing out on this? Oh gosh. 
Also, she did not pay me to make this video. She just sent me these products to test out in a video. And she literally told me and emailed me that she wants my honest review in the video. I'm not going to be sugarcoating anything. Um, even though, even if a brand did contact me and say, give me your honest review, I would not, I would still give you my honest review, even if they did not say that, because you guys are my friends, and I don't want you to get scammed, you know what I'm saying? But I'm serious. Ho oh, ho! You guys! The only thing is that there's fallout with this palette, so if you were traveling with it, I do see some spilling going on. But, oh my goodness, you guys. Sent me also over a uh, Trio eyeshadow kit, so we're going to be testing out these colors. Let's see what kind of colors they are. Oh lord. I say that. I say oh lord. Because it's black, silver, and white. Which is literally going to be impossible for me to make a look from that. But, um, we're going to try. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do the silver on my lid and crease it out. Put the white in my inner corner and do the a winged smoky smoky wing with the black okay so there is a way I just I literally have never used black and eyeshadow before there is a way to do it I just I just haven't so like that's my fault not this guy not these these people's fault um I think the the, the color choice is perfect it's just because I'm uh, scared and a wuss and don't want to use black but you guys are gonna step me out of my comfort zone and we are going to be doing it today. Very pigmented, I could tell right off the bat. I'm just gonna... Okay. It did give some color, but it was very, very subtle. But I will build up the cover color so you can see the silver at least. I'm also gonna bring this gray under my eye. And I'm going to be taking a flat brush, looks a little bit like this, with a flat tip on the front. And I'll be taking that black and I'm just going to be going over my, uh, not waterline, um, right on my lash line. For that like liner effect and smoky effect. And also all of these palettes have had mirrors in them, which is very luxury to me. A lot of products don't have mirrors in it. So I like that this one does have a mirror. It's like a smoky wing, you see what I'm saying? I'm not really going on my waterline, I'm going more on the lash line. Which is right under the waterline, if you guys did not know. I'm also going to take another brush, dip into that like white or silverish and put it right in the corner. Just to kind of bring attention to the corner of my eye. Just a very small amount. This is what the eye look looks like right now. Before I finish it up and add um, mascara and probably eyeliner, I do want to do my brows, but I'm going to do that off camera, so sorry. Okay, so I will be right back with the brows. Okay, so brows are placed now we can move on to mascara so the mascara i have for today is the from rc makeup 3d effect high division high definition mascara okay so it looks like but from this wand it's going to be very voluminous which is what high definition really means let's see how it goes it volumizes them a hundred percent it's, I'm not sure, it's hard to tell for me, for mascaras, if they're lengthening because I kind of do have big eyelashes, like really long eyelashes, so it's kind of hard for me to review that part of it, but from right off the bat, I can seriously tell it's very, very voluminous. It looks a lot like the L'Oreal Paradise mascara, which is like my favorite one as of right now, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so now it's ready for lips. Now I have a couple lip lip liners and lipsticks here. I do want to match my eyeshadow look, so we'll see how it goes. The first one here 
is in shade 05. It's like kind of like a red. This is just 05 and this is 202. It's like a pinkier shade. It actually says right here that the shade number, the shade name is Candy. But this one, it doesn't say that. So that's kind of interesting. And then I have some lip liners here. And this is the lip liner in, I think it's like blocking the shade. That's probably what's happening. And then, um, but I can kind of tell. Oh, here we are. This is not a lip pencil. This is eyeliner. Ooh, a pencil eyeliner. So let's go ahead and do that. I want to be doing my waterline with this. Anything with waterproof for eyeliner really works in the waterline. I love this look, you guys. That really sold it, I think, for me. And I thought it was lip liner because it was, it was with the lip liners. So I'm going to do the pink or pinky ones today because I think it would match my eye look a little bit more. Okay, so they're actual pencils, which is really good for if you want to make them last a very good long time. You just sharpen them and then they're ready to go again and they're super sharp. So I'm just going to line my lips. Very pigmented, right off the bat. Very, very, very pigmented. That was so easy. Wow, that just went on. I'm gonna go with the lipstick. And I wonder if it's a lip, liquid lip. Yeah, matte liquid lip it says here. Okay, I'm just gonna take off the little tag there. Okay, it reminds me of the Elf because the Elf has like uh, the packaging like this. So let's see what it looks like. Okay. Seems to be drying though. Which is unfortunate, but I like it honestly. I mean the eye look doesn't really go with it, but I mean like for the most part I like it. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna take the the red the the red eye um lip liner and I'm just gonna go a little bit over it because I'm losing kind of that depth affection right off the get go I can tell you that this formula is pretty drying okay guys so this is the finished look honestly all of these products really impress me I'm gonna go through them one by one the first one I need to go over is the primer there's a this was a big bottle I'm quite impressed with this it was a blurring effect then after that I used the foundation I really like the foundation it was a lot like a lot of other foundations that I've tried the exact shade for me which also helped out the only problem with that is that on the little sample bag that I got it said it was full coverage and it could be full coverage but I think it really should have said medium to full because you can build it it was definitely medium coverage for me um, I did have to build it twice and also I did not get a concealer but I also did use a foundation, a lighter color for the concealer and it worked just fine. In fact, just the same exactly. After powdering it down, I did not feel cakey or even too matte. I just felt a normal matte, not even dry and I do have very dry skin. The face palette was probably my favorite product of the entire uh, collection that I have right here in front of me. I really thought that that bronzer and blush and highlight can be in any palette from high-end extremely high-end to like Gucci palettes they all are the same and that one really really showed some step up towards those the bronzer color was perfect for my skin type and looks like it could be for a couple different skin types the blush really surprised me because the blush could have really been for any skin type even deep skin types if you keep building it up the highlight blew me away I was not ready to see that big of a blending highlight. I was very, very impressed with that. That was probably another one of my favorite products. The eyeshadow trio was very pigmented and buildable. Um, it wasn't too pigmented. The black was very, very pigmented. I think it was a true black. The silver really took some building up. I built it a couple times. And the mascara, I'm really actually impressed with. That's gotta be like my second favorite thing out of this whole thing. The next thing was the eyeliner. I was impressed with that. It actually is very 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 dark it's very 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 black and a lot of them end up looking gray on my eyelid the lip products i really like the lip liner 
Um, I really did like the lip liner. I think the shades that I received were not my favorite shades. I probably wouldn't pick up those shades again. But for the most part, I'm sure there's other shades. But I have to say that I did not like the lipsticks. Um, for being a dry gal like myself, I don't like the uncomfortable feeling of having a dry lip. Um, and that's basically what I received. And it wasn't that pigmented. I do see some of my lips, my natural lip color, sh shearing through. So I'm going to have to say the only thing I did not like out of this whole collection was the liquid lips. Um, I'm also not like a matte girl. I do like some gloss. That's just the way I am though. Um, everyone's different. Another thing was the contour stick. I really did enjoy the contour stick. It just really took a long time for it to blend out. Okay guys, so that brings it in to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and a good thank you out to Tony Landras. Um, I will be leaving her website down below. Thank you so much for reaching out to me and including me in this type of collaboration. I'm very, very grateful for anybody and all the brands that reach out to me. And don't forget to subscribe on your way out and hit the bell right next to the subscription bar to be notified of all my future uploads. Don't want to miss. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms at sarahwalker5600. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out a ton. And thank you guys so much for watching. I can never say it enough. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.